Shot clock down to 10. Alexander will swing it. Jones already hit one from there, but not this time. Joe Girard involved in the action. Because last time they get it with Jesse Edwards, Jesse Edwards got a wide open lane to the basket. They're very concerned with Girard getting it going. And it seems as if well, that's just a bad pass, no angle. It seems to happen. Seen it many times. Rebello over the top. He double up, triple up on Soriano trying to fight his way up there. So now Mintz to see if he can create. And he really can. He's a lot of fun to watch. I'm going to say it again. Like, I love it that he's scoring. I love it that he's attacking pressure. Just be careful with it. Alexander Soriano trying to clean it up, but he'll draw the foul. They're going to vacate that post with the ball screen high. There's no protector there at the rim. So, yeah, you have to. Simon Torrance, the senior, a Syracuse kid directing traffic. And meanwhile, absolutely zero flow on both sides. Williams will lift and stick it. That'll help. Oh, there's going to be some back and forth. Store the 6 6 freshman back to Corbello trying to float it. Nothing an absolute blur. Draws the foul. He'll be shooting two. Field. He's got a floor game. He's got a feel. He understands. All right, here's the defender. He's not really going to reopen their recruitment. All that NIL stuff took place. No lie there. 12.45 to go first half. And the block. To get minutes. And think about some of those shot clock violations late. Three-pointer. Yeah, it's going to rattle in. He's been to the open spot, watching the defense leave. Stay for an open shot. Rebello slamming on the brakes. Heavy traffic there. Certainly for the Orange. Meanwhile, St. John's has missed seven consecutive shots. It's working on Mathis. That's a fun duel. His jumper won't drop. He had an advantage, so they threw it down. They cleared and let him go to work. Nehemoth plucking that one away. He's playing some D here. Vince again. You're going to see two guys kind of looking at the basketball. Poor communication to start, but in the end. Launching a three. Yes! Curbelo leaning in. And got it to go. Nice time. Alexander. Hey, Soriano knows exactly what to do. So Curbelo turns. Great hit. For the stop by Stanley. To the Red Storm with an opportunity to take a lead. Jones blocked away, gets it back, and makes the shot the foul. Alexander cutting. Sorry, I'll stop it. Bombing influence. Rebello looking for a screen to be set by Soriano. He's going to shoot it and continues to hit shots. Edwards across. And one minute to play. Mintz. Mintz giving up the dribble, needs some help. It's down to seven. Down to three. Mintz airborne. And that one did not touch the rim. Alexander up top for Mathis. Cabello has got to touch the ball. Shot clock now at 10. Jones with a touch. He wants to drive it. That's blocked by Edwards. Right back to Soriano. Big battle. No whistle. Reset. Edwards took a tumble there. Down to eight. It's Edwards backing his way in on Soriano. Trying to get a three. This one to Torrance. Torrance with a fall away. Who does Syracuse turn to here? They need a basket in the worst way. Mintz just lost it. Corbella with the scoop and lays it up and count it. It's goaltending. Mintz just lost. Again, the physicality wears you down. Oh, my gosh, that's close. And John's by four and the ball. Tough thing is, it's going to be difficult for Syracuse to pressure with so many ball handlers on the floor. Bello looking, looking, Jones free in the corner. He nails it! A three-pointer. Syracuse 
has done that now three times here in overtime. Knocked away in a foul. They're going to get Syracuse in overtime by a final score of 76 to 69 to take the Empire Classic. Under 12-minute timeout was where I said it feels like this game is going to swing. It's